Man, welcome back to the channel, heavy hitters. If you're new or if you're not, welcome again. Man, get on in here so we can have this heavy conversation. Cause did y'all see this? <laughs> it's time to have a heavy conversation. <laughs> We definitely want to go ahead and let our source be known that this is coming from TMZ. So I don't know if you saw this on social media, but it says, Little white boy whips door of black family. Dad arrested. Allegedly almost shot the daughter. <laughs> this is some crazy SHIT. So before I go into what I think about it, I'll just read what the article says. TMZ has gotten more info about the arrest of the boy's father, and the story is even crazier than initially thought. Turns out the man actually fired the gun that Nash has claimed he had on him, and that he's facing felony charge because of it, according to the cops. <laughs> if y'all saw this, again, some crazy SHIT. Let's continue. Per Kaufman County, the Nashes alleged that Bronson kept arguing with them on his driveway with a Ruger semi-automatic pistol in hand. He did, which itself isn't illegal. <laughs> According to the police, the little boy actually came out as well and challenged the Nashes to a fight. What allegedly happened next is scary. The sheriff's office says Brunson is alleged to have put the gun down and at one point on his porch, but then went back to pick it up after the argument persisted and he allegedly handled it reckless manner, causing it to go off. They say that's when he almost shot his own daughter. <laughs> okay, so what you're looking at is the post that the family made. But the article says, cops say the bullet almost struck Brunson's own daughter, who was standing behind him, but luckily it missed. He was booked for deadly conduct, which became a felony because of the would-be harm. The boy, who was nine years old, was a year off from facing criminal mischief charges himself, we're told. But as it stands, he's not going to be rung up legally for this. The article continues with, A little white boy came storming over to the home of the black family in Texas with a whip in hand and a beating in mind, it seems. And the whole thing was captured on video. This is wild. The ring footage was taken from the front porch of Dee and Carissa Nash's home near Dallas. And it shows what they claim is a neighbor's kid from nearby coming over in a fury, allegedly in search of their nine-year-old daughter and making his presence known. <laughs> privilege as you can see the young boy who can't be more than seven or eight himself bangs on the front door with his free hand and then takes some cracks at it with his whipping hand <laughs> i'm so silly carissa then opens the door and chastises the boy telling him get off our property and threatening to call the police it appears the kid scrams after that sadly the confrontation wasn't over just yet further video shows them facing off with the boy's purported father D handles this chat, and right off the bat, it ain't pretty. The man is denying culpability and demanding to see evidence. And according to the Nashes, the boy allegedly scratched the car after Carissa told him to beat it, and both Nash parents offered to show him. However, it doesn't appear the guy is truly interested. He tells him to get off his property and makes a big fuss about a plant that D may or may not actually be standing on. The Nashes also claimed the man who answered the door had a gun on him, we saw it, and that it seemed poised to use it. According to the report, the police were in fact called over this, and this guy was apparently arrested and booked on charges of deadly conduct. Good. The father has been named in some outlets, and we've confirmed a man by the name was arrested Friday and bonded out. But the details are still a little hazy, and it's unclear if the guys depicted here. Kaufman County Sheriff's Office refused to release more info until Monday. Ch probably somebody they know and friends so what's with. What's up, people? Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed story time. <laughs> Heavy hit of media story time. Man, isn't that some crazy SHIT? That's some crazy. <laughs> little bad white boys. Little bad white boy. You're going to come beat on the door. And if you haven't seen it, go look it up. Because the boy is like, boo, 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 boo. And she's like, you don't get shot. It, it is hilarious, but crazy at the same time. Like, you got to look it up because it's so funny. But isn't that crazy, though? In this day and time, the little boy beats on the door with a whip. One, where you get the damn whip from? Where you get a whip from? Two, what makes you think it's okay for you to come beat on a person's door? Black, white, blue, or green? 
And then, because he didn't really say anything afterwards from what we see. But what makes you think it was okay for you to come beat on the door? And then when the, the father comes over to show the ring, and then he's talking to the father. Well, the first of all, the father was on one. But if you read the article, uh, a couple of articles about it, it says that they allegedly have had issues with the little boy before and the fathers have exchanged words before. But the dad came out on one. I mean, he had to, you came outside with a gun. The video is crazy because the woman is talking while the while the husband is trying to talk, the, the gnashes that is. And the man is on one. Show me the evidence. They shows him, he's, now this is just him beating on the door. And he's like, show me where he scratched up your car because that's what it's really about. He allegedly scratched up their car while he left, right? And that the the neighbor has it on ring film or has it on a uh, ring. Um, so he goes to talk to the dad. Anyway, this is just a crazy, crazy. I wanted to share this with you on Talk S H I T Tuesday. So I hope you enjoyed it. Look, I would look it up so you could kind of hear it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed it. I, you know, I put a little oomph on the reading because it was just funny as hell. I just, I cannot, baby, if I live with my, well, I wouldn't, well, God forbid. Uh, well, not God forbid, because in some communities, people live with their parents at my age. But if I if I were living with my parents and that little came banging on that door, baby, it would be hell to pay the captain. You hear me? I go with that. Me and, me and old boy, yeah, because I would have came and wore my piece too. And we would just been, it would have been a, a western up in that bed. We would have been pop, pop. No, because somebody would have died. Anyway, that's just crazy. Because the dad was on one. He put the gun down. Talking all that hot cash money. The old boy, Mr. Nash, was going to run up. And then he went back down to pick up the gun. And that's when it fired. I thought he, like, shot in the ground or something. I didn't know he accidentally shot. I don't think he accidentally shot. I think he really shot that as, like, a, you know, get your black ASS away from my porch. down at, down at, Because he shot at the ground. So, but they're alleging that he allegedly shot. But I'm glad he got arrested. Let there be a let there be a, a lesson to all the kids out there. Man, just talk about it. It's not that serious. Your little boy can't beat on the door. Quote unquote. If the two boys did have a fight, you know, seven and then the nine and the thir with well, the thirteen year old boy allegedly, but the parents just say that's impossible because he was at school. And then it turns out it was the nine year old daughter who beat his ASS. It's just some crazy stuff. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, this is a something I want to introduce called Talk Shit Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> but follow your boy, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, welcome to Heavy Hitter Media, and I am the Heavy Hitter, where I do reality commentary, hot topics, and uh, plus size men fashion reviews. So, you know it's crazy? I dogged ASOS. <laughs> yeah. I dogged ASOS. But ever since then, they heard me. Exos heard me because I went on there again today. I just dropped that video yesterday of some stuff I got early this week. And I just bought a bunch of stuff. Uh, so maybe they heard us as a whole that they needed to get their SHIT together. Um, they got some decent stuff, some nice summer stuff. So once it comes in, I'll do that review and that haul. And try it on me for you. Uh, but again, I think I'm going to do another piece on Keisha Cole and, and, and Antonio Brown. Because that's some cold stuff. If she really tattooed her name on him and he told her we don't want you, that's cold. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Y'all be good.